Hey, what is up, everybody? It's No One Shot. Coming back to you with another set of current fleet in my video today. I'm going to do a basic video on this Arc 3, and it's going to be something real basic. Some people, I don't think, understand how to equip the skins when you get them, whenever it happens, or the projectiles. And I want to go over that. But before we go over that, remember to like the subscribe button, that bell notification down below. Remember, there is a donation link down below. If you click that CMR button, you can hit that there and donate. And come join my Discord. Become awesome. Even though you guys already are, you guys are awesome. And below that is a uh, join button. If you want to join the channel, become a member for the two, five, ten, or twenty dollars a month in the support channel. Click that button. So let's get into the basics of this. So we have our new refits. No one has them yet, besides um, I think one person, I think. Uh, and he level fifties get a little easier than us slower people. But anyways. <laughs> How do you equip skins? How do you even get the skins? How do you even do it? So let's look at the events, which I'm kind of saddened on the events. So in these events right here, this uh, G3 refits, you have to G3, G4 spend. So it's a spend event. So hopefully they have more events down the line that where you don't have to spend a lot to get this. And a skin costs you 80 of these right here. Ship skin, shard trackers. You had to spend 80 of those to get one skin. As you see, only the first place gets it. Second place is four short. Third place is 16 short. Yada, 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 yada. And it's only four people. So four people per bracket. Get the material to be able to unlock skins. Not the full amount. Only the first place gets it. And once you get the ship tracker skin. Right here. You go over here. I don't know why it's in this one. It's a little weird. You go over here to your claim, and then you pick what skin you want for what ship. The Enterprise, the uh, D4 is this one? Yeah, the D4 skin, or the uh, the Augur skin. And it, like I said, it costs 80, so it doesn't show it here. So you got to do this, and once you get that, you go over to, if I remember right, in your base, as the game takes a minute to load. I'm trying to do this while... It's not raining outside because it is loud right now out there. And I think my game just froze. Uh, did it move? Did it move? Oh, well, let's uh, close that out quick and then retry it again. I always get these freezing glitches while doing this one. I'll just reload it back up and go through the whole process again. But to me, these skins are an awesome idea. And um, the refits or whatever you want to call them they're an awesome idea to have in the game they have an ability that works that's not like just some cosmetic thing unlike like the avatars we have it's just a cosmetic thing and i'm really happy that they have these skins in the game and it's hard at first to get them but i think it's going to be a little bit easier as time progresses as you guys see here on the screen we have the, the whole event board look at it memorize it you know what's coming up and they actually have that written down somewhere else i'll show you after I show you how to unlock the skin once you have enough of the skin pieces. So you go over here, we go to our hanger, right here. Click on the paintbrush icon. And when you have enough, as you see, they cost 80 of these blueprints, right? Or the shards to get them. Once you have enough, you just hit unlock or whatever one you have. Let's say you went for the enterprise one, you click on it. You click unlock when you have enough of the shard trackers. They have transferred into these right here, the TOS enterprise shard. TOS, yeah. And as you see, it's a 70% bump to your your unlock or your uh, hostile killing, which is kind of cool. And once you get that, I'm going to show you how to unlock the projectiles next after that. So once you have that done, you go to the ship you want. Let me pull my Enterprise out. Actually, I think my Enterprise is right here. Healing up. Let's just speed up on it quick. And you go here. And your skin's going to show up right here. And you just click it. And you hit apply. And boom, you get the skin on your ship, which is pretty simple pretty awesome and even if the ship the uh, skin is not on the ship it still works the ability is still passed on to the ship so that's even better and now let's talk about how to unlock projectiles currently the only way to lock projectiles if you go to your officers you go to the recruit you go to your doomsday resistance chest and you get to unlock them one at a time right here it'll say projectiles have a 32 percent chance of dropping I'll do a, a 500 pull for you guys right now. See if I get any. If I can get lucky. I don't think there's a lucky pull on them. I'll do a 500. See what happens. Skip. And if you guys ask why do I have so many, I've kind of been saving up. And I'm going to show 14. 1. 1. So you see that. And then 
to unlock the projectiles, it's kind of the same idea. We go back into here, we go back into here, click the paintbrush icon, and under projectiles. So it costs 50 of the blue bullets to get it. I heard this one's currently not functional, but they'll fix it. And then you have these other ones, and I think you have to do a per ship. I'm not sure how that one works. If you unlock it once, it's all ships, or is it you have to unlock it that many times to get it for each ship. I don't know how that works, but choose wisely when you apply it. It's pretty simple how to do it, how to re apply these skins. It's kind of cool. These are just real cosmetics. So these are cosmetics. These don't do nothing. And these actually do something. Like you see here, this is one I'm looking forward to. This one is going to be amazing for hostile grinding. And plus the skin looks dead sexy. It is a beautiful, beautiful skin. Um, if you guys didn't know, after if we went over that skin idea, that skin stuff. If you didn't know, you look at the Leviathan right here, this right here. So it has a little write-up on the Leviathan stuff, basically the big mouth. I like to call it the big mouth armada because that's what it is, a big mouth. And you go down here, it goes over the stuff, tells you the systems are in, which I'm kind of sad in that the um, uncommon one that's right here in Titaxib, Titaxib, is the only uncommon one, and that's the highest one. They need a bigger one because it was a grind to do it. But I'm glad that Armand only costs one of the directive versus what it is because you buy a pack, it was 400. Uh, or I bought a $50 pack, it can be 400 of those directives, and it only costs one per one. I'm not sure if that's a mistake, but take advantage of it while you can to run those armadas to finish your ticketed event, which that one was kind of pain, but it wasn't bad. As the combat training one was pain in the bum. And then we have the stuff for the officers. So seven skins launching it this month, and it tells you which ones they are, gives you the whole breakdown of everything here. And the vent store, it talks about the vent store we already have, we see. And then it, here's all the calendar. This is the one you guys want to pay attention to. Here's your calendar, the breakdown. So you have the calendar, the the easy one to read. And this is the one you can read and see what it is so you can prepare for it. So as you see here, you have all the events that you need to do in the game that you that are coming up. Like it says, Doomsday Ticketed Events. It gives you the breakdown of Ticketed Events, which ones are which, on each day, which is kind of awesome. I do like them explaining this stuff to us, showing us this stuff ahead of time so we can prepare for days. And we know how many Ticketed Events are per day, per this, per that. As you guys can see, plus 30s, uh, the Doomsday Worm one. And like the week identified, and then the specimen examination research. Three right there, three right here, three right here. Uh, Doomsday rare. So we got rare models on day three. And then we have the Doomsday machine stuff, planet killer stuff. It gives us a whole breakdown, which I'm kind of glad that Sculpey has been a little more transparent on a calendar to give to us to be able to see what's coming up so we can prepare ourselves for what's coming in the future of this arc. So we kind of actually know what's coming. And I'm thankful for Scopely for that. The, the start was a little messy, but eventually we'll have some skins. We'll have some stuff that actually helps us in the game. Have some decent little cosmetics for your little pew pews. So it's not only the ISS jellyfish shooting the purple rounds. It is going to be every ship as long as you unlock it, which is awesome. All right, guys. I just wanted to go over this simple, easy to talk about video. And that's about it, guys. I love you guys. Remember hit that like, that subscribe button, that bell notification down below. Remember, if you want to join my Discord, hit that see more button. Click that Discord link. Come join my Discord. And below that is my donation link. If you want to help donate, click that button and donate to the channel. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. And don't forget to join the channel. It's either 2 5 10 or 20 bucks a month if you want to help support the channel. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Peace out. Have a great one.